জুম করতেছি আই জাস্ট ইউজিং দ্য রেকর্ডিং এন্ড ঝামেলা হচ্ছে এরকম আমরা এখন দুইটা ভিডিও হিসেবে স্টোর হবে তাহলে তো আবার সেই দুইটা ভিডিও আবার আমাকে জোড়া দিতে হবে তো মহা মহা প্যারা আচ্ছা দেখা যাক কি হয় एवरीथिंग इज एन एक्सपीरियंस আচ্ছা উই 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 ডিসকাস দিস পার্ট এটা সবার ক্লিয়ারলি বোঝা গেছে কিনা যে অ্যাকচুয়ালি আমাদের গ্রাফটা কি রিপ্রেজেন্ট করতেছে হ্যালো জি স্যার স্যার আছি আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে थैंक यू এরপর আমাদের কিছু টপিক আসবে ফার্স্ট এর জিনিসটা আসবে সেটা হচ্ছে সুপার পজিশন আচ্ছা সুপার পজিশন নিয়ে আমাদের বেসিক্যালি দুটো डिफरेंट ম্যাট জিনিস শিখতে হয় একটা হচ্ছে হাউ ডাস সুপার পজিশন হ্যাপেন how does your position happen for two more than one sources for more than one sources at different positions away from the sources eta hocche ek type er setup jemon ei type er setup er ekta example hocche double cell experiment je mone koro hocche e je mone koro ekhane amader ekta oscillator er moddhe dui ta dipart dewa ache so ei dui ta dipart theke ইন্ডিভিজুয়াল আমাদের সার্কুলার ওয়েভ ক্রিয়েট হবে আমরা যদি डिफरेंट डिफरेंट পজিশন অন দিস ওয়াটার সারফেস অবজার্ভ করি যে হাউ দিস টু ইন্ডিভিজুয়াল ওয়েভস আর মার্জিং অন টু ইচ আদার টু গিভ আস এ রেজাল্ট্যান্ট বিহেভিয়ার বিকজ একটা দুটো डिफरेंट সোর্স থেকে দুটো ওয়েভ এসে যখন একটা পয়েন্টে মিট হবে মানে টু डिफरेंट ওয়েভস আর গোনা কাম আউট ফ্রম টু डिफरेंट সোর্স এন্ড মিট এট আ সার্টেন পয়েন্ট অফ দ্য মিডিয়াম দিস টু ওয়েভস আর গোনা ট্রাই টু সাইমালটেনিয়াসলি মুভ দোজ মিডিয়াম পার্টিকলস সো in certain locations their preferred or their push direction would be similar where they would be adding up to each other's effect which we call constructive interference in some places they will try to push the medium particle in opposite directions so they will be uh, minimizing each other's effect which we call to be destructive interference so this is one type of consideration that we have to understand follow on i'm uh, i'm trying to give you the idea that what we are going to learn in two different uh, aspect the first aspect that i usually go for is this one where we have to observe the effect of a medium particle under the 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 effect of a medium particle that's the the state of a medium particle under the effect of multiple waves more than one source so here the example was made for two sources there is another example which is called diffraction grating where we'll be considering uh, more than one source uh so more than two sources actually multiple sources uh, that is also a very refined form for this one as well, as well so this is one type of scenario that what happens to a medium particle under the effect of multiple identical sources these two sources are also identical which you call coherent sources i'm going to come into the uh, physical terms as a coherent source of definition that was after a bit it is a act type of discussion i type of discussion would say where we learn how does one single particle is affected by a single wave source when the wave travels in opposite direction so what they are trying to show over here is that we have a microwave emitter over here and we are sending up a sending a sending a wave in this direction this is a metal plate which is working as a reflector so this same wave is getting reflected off this surface and now traveling in the backward direction so at any position in the for the in between space there would exist two identical waves one is traveling from left to right which is coming from the source the other one is coming from the reflector which is coming from the right and they are going to merge onto each other and give us a result and behavior of what is going to happen for this medium particles so this is another aspect so these are two different ways we are going to learn this stuff so for example one of the one of the setup that they have shown over here uh this is actually the basic figure this is the animation that i was working with the stretched string and we can also achieve this thing by a uh, vibrator mechanism and a pulley as well uh typical guitar strings that we work with or, or any uh any uh, musical instrument which works with strings they are also an example of this kind of devices uh before i go for this one let me show you something that of one of the catenage that i have on Thank you. I'll definitely 
What this pattern represent? I mean, what 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 does this pattern essentially represent, or what does it mean for? Sir, yes. Sir, after YouTuber video turn after our shoulder. Huh? No, I paused it. I'm not sure. I haven't figured. Ah, sir. I mean, uh, video. But how will I video pause? Because how? Don't worry about that. So, what 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 does this video essentially represent? What this mean is that. The sound, the wave is being created from this center. This this nut bolt, this bolt is actually connected to the vibrator mechanism, which is placed underneath this metal plate. The wave is propagating in radial directions all over, but because this is a rectangular plate, the, at the end point, the wave is deflated off because it cannot go further. And as it is deflating off, it is making overlapping effect on a single location of the wave. What you can see that along these lines, we have the salt particles, which are quite stationary along these lines. But over here, there exists no stationary salt particles. So the, these particles are moving pretty fast. This is because this metal plate is having the individual part or individual atoms of the metal plate. If you consider the individual surface atoms of the metal plate, these metal plate individual, individual locations are having really high rate of vibration for these locations where there is no salt, salt particle. These locations on the other hand are quite stationary. They are not, these, uh, I mean, the metal atoms at these locations are not disturbing the salt particle. That's why the salt particles can find a place to rest in these locations. So that's why they are forming these lines. This is why this is, they are forming this line. But somewhere within this region or somewhere within this region, somewhere within this region or somewhere everywhere, there is not a, uh, alignment or an orientation of the of these uh, salt particles the metal is metal frame metal plate is vibrating really fast so they are not allowing the salt particles to come to rest so what this essentially go on to represent that at some portions we have stationary metal plate at other portions we have superbly vibrating metal plate so that's the basic take out, take away from this figure we're gonna see further into the video that whenever we're gonna change these frequencies for, for some very specific frequency values, we're gonna get patterns. We're not gonna get pattern for all the frequency values. Why not all the frequency values? I'm gonna cover that as well, but let's go ahead and or watch this video further. <music>
I think they have made their point. Achha, I'll just store this link so that I can later. Oops, what did I write over here? Achha, I'm going to look out for a thing by sand. Using Violin Bajano J. Hatetora John to Dojan Namki Gujano. There is violin, and there is this another thing that they move back and forth. What is that thing called? Never mind. <coughs> No, I cannot apparently find this. Isn't there more? Sir, what did you say? Violin, what did you say? What did you Is it possible to see sound? This is a Kaladni plate. Using a bow or mechanical wave driver, you can excite the plate at different frequencies to reach certain resonant modes. How does it work? Let's find out with the help of a simulation app. Kaladni plates come in different shapes like squares, triangles, circles, and even violin and guitar bodies. They have a fixed constraint at the center and are usually made out of steel or aluminum, like this one. When a vibration excites the plate, the standing waves form patterns called nodal lines. The sand gathers in these lines and forms distinct patterns for different tones. You can play a Kaladni plate by holding onto the plate at a node and exciting it at different antinodes. Learn more about the physics behind Kaladni plates and the scientist who discovered them on the Comsol blog. Okay, fine. So, so what this person is essentially showing us that to make this thing go under vibration, it is important to make this thing manually that they have to hold at the location where there is supposed to be a node. This is the term they use. And they have to make the vibration or they have to make this contact with the bow strings at the location where there is supposed to be an anti-node. Now, what does this action essentially mean? Let, let's have a look at the simulation a little bit and then, then I can make better sense out of it. What this figure go ahead to show you, this is actually a much more, I mean, way too much, uh, what can I say, an exaggerated representation to make better sense to us. Here, the red regions are representing a positive displacement on the upper side. The blue regions are representing a negative distance on the lower side. All these diagonal lines that you can see all these black lines are representing portions of the plate which are remaining stationary even though the wave is propagating through the metal plate there are certain locations in the medium which does not apparently move even though wave is passing through them that is those are the points which are defining as antinode the definition of anode and antinode can be made more clear if i go ahead to use this uh, uh this uh, oscillation mechanism have a look uh, i'll try to uh, make it to make it happen we have to have a fixed end over here so that the wave can be reflected back so that we can have the presence of back and forth reflection so we have this uh, i'm going to reduce the damping so that we have no damping uh, and 
without any damping the amplitude is becoming extremely large i don't want that to happen so i'm going to have <coughs> some damping over damping essentially means that we are reducing the uh, energy amount of the of the wave so i have to fix up the frequency in a way so that we get stationary wave uh, wait how can i have stationary wave start so I have to make the lambda by 2 bigger which means f a bit smaller It is happening that I'm losing it. Why? But let me explain this in terms of this figure. This is a very uh, unique condition. I'll tell you why this is unique. <coughs> Here, these solid lines are representing the current orientation of the medium. So what is essentially happening? Uh, so that it can, I can make sense, I hope. Stop. Okay. If we have a fixed stand and if we make a pulse, did you see that the pulse came back? Yeah. Do you see this? Yes, Take a good observation at this one first, which means that we made the vibration once and because i have it had zero damping zero damping means there is no energy loss in the medium which is very highly unlikely for a physical medium but just to make my point that once we make a pulse the pulse is going to go forward and then it's going to get reflected off the stationary end and it's going to go back forward which means if i now make multiple pulses let's say here we finish one pulse and if i give another pulse I messed up. Let's say now I made two pulses. So these two pulses are going to get reflected back. Did you see that there, there in this position we had some weird things happening? Like, so what is essentially happening over here? 
basically in this case these two pulses are overlapping onto each other so let's try to make a manual motion and let's see if, we, if i can achieve this I cannot make manual motions very well. But this is working out pretty well, but not very well. Sir, I have to wait to be gone. I mean, just act with camera kit. Act with kit. Kula the pass is there. Pass was just a manual. I mean, pass was just your cornered, not uh, sinusoidal. Sir, the manually pull on the chapter. It's a manual chrono. It's a manual range. Sir, I have to do it. But not the best of the things. Anyway, I'm just on the physically good. I can just a genius data hobby. Shed a hot say Monogorita Hotsha mother source a source thema with police corbo. So I'm not your source take a aerometer pulse and corbo a pulse to joke on a mother reflector to reflect hobby. It can do ultra jabe reflect the reflection of a hobby aerocom. It is so that's what I showed you in the pulse generator. Take a set. So it's going to get reflected back. So do the continuous sum of source take away put is put it again a country continuous reflection region over the force goes back with it again which means there exists a certain specific frequency of the source there exists a certain specific frequency of the source let's say it can have mother jot to go space as a at a certain specific frequency number to certain lambda pillar monocro to shake is I'm like an all together let's say we're gonna have a total amount of space of let's say five lambda money I'm other the space from the source to the reflector if it is a full multiple of lambda only then can we produce observable stationary waves observable stationary waves means we're going to have definite points of uh, of uh, rest which are called the nodes and we're going to have definite points of anti nodes <coughs> one of the things that it should be very clear to you whenever we'll be creating waves actually it may actually pull like bull like it actually five lambda have enough at a only set of it five lambda say different is of it but try to understand when I go to it out some other source I can I'm other J point at the other source of like they always source to the shop show me with a boat say anti note because the source point is a location that is always undergoing a very high amount of vibration do you understand that the time other is a video that is you know you know a video that is you this person no this person said that we have to hold it at one of the node positions and vibrate it at one of the anti node positions means that we have to make sure that the node position is stationary and the location where we are expecting a very high amount of vibration that should be our source so whenever we can achieve that kind of an arrangement for example in this case whenever for this plate when this was done this was producing a wave over here which is propagating through this medium and by having reflections in all the borders it could be give us a pattern like this so that gave us this diagonal pattern so in all, along all of these horizontal lines we had salt particles available but along in these regions we didn't have any salt particles because they are undergoing a very high amount of vibration so whenever they're going up the salt particles were being pushed left and right and they eventually uh, we had all the salt particles coming up over here which means the source will always be an antenna position where the motion will be very large and the reflector end which is stationary will always be a node position this actually brings us to the idea uh, of a certain scenario uh,
Should I go for one and close to? Acha, hai, hai, one and close to the Jahana, one and close to our guitar string. Acha, let's go for a guitar string. Uh, if you consider a guitar string or any string for that matters, let's say if you consider a string, the string and vibration and one all the video has a kind of. Yeah, this will work. So what we have here is a frequency generator. It's connected to what's called a wave driver. It's just a speaker. It's going to pump up and down at whatever frequency I set this guy to. When this guy pumps up and down, well, he sends a wave. He sends a wave down to this end. The wave reflects, comes back. Now, if I set it to just uh, any old frequency, let me just uh, turn this on. Well, yeah, let's go a little higher. So it's sending waves back and forth, but these waves are out of sync, if you like. They're, they're not exhibiting con consistently constructive or destructive interference at any one point. But if I set it here, for example, I have what's called a standing wave. Okay, so that what is happening over here? He has set this frequency at a certain value. You have to understand, this vibrator does not have a very large amount of amplitude. You should see that this, vib this vibrating end has a pretty small amplitude. Did you see that? I mean, the amount of amplitude that we have at these positions, this vibrator has an amplitude much smaller than this. You should see this. Point. But, this but if I set it... Amplitude. Do you see that? Now, for this amplitude, there so, was a certain position when he actually... Constructive or destructive for example, interference at any one point. This is actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good stationary wave, I'd say. I'll tell you why. I need all of you to observe for this position. They're not exhibiting con consistently is, constructive or destructive interference at any one point. See that? Right here. Not exhibiting con consistently not constructive point. or destructive interference. The string is vibrating before and after, but it is not vibrating here. Did you see that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll show you again. Not in slow motion. Waves back and forth, I'm going to sync but these waves are out of sync, if you like. Apparently. They're, they're not exhibiting con consistently constructive or destructive interference. This is a point where the particle is not vibrating. So this is one of our node position. This is also one of our node position. So between these two nodes, we have one loop. Loop means, what, what do we mean by loop? By using the term loop, I mean this much shape, this much shape from one node to another node. And between one node to another node, we usually have a one antinode and this much shape is what I define as a loop. So between these two points, we have now have one loop. And now here, here's the deal. This is our node. Somewhere over here, we have an antinode at the middle between two nodes. And this is also another of our node. So essentially, what should this point be? Antinode. This is supposed to be an antinode because this is the point where the source is introducing the vibration into the string. So although the amplitude of this vibration is quite small because now the default amplitude is the amplitude of this device, that's why we are not being able to see the wave very clearly, but we do have a setup over here. So if, I th if you think, if you think, if, if you have a look over here, have a look of this, over this figure, this entire length represents one lambda, right? Take a look, yeah, or, yeah. or it is labeled over here. This entire length represents one lambda. So one loop equals to half lambda, or in other terms, I can say two loops make one lambda. Do you see that? Yeah. Two loops make one lambda. So in terms of lambda, whatever the lambda that is currently present for this string, in terms of lambda, how much of lambda is there from the source to the rod? How much lambda is there? Try to think. Uh, this much is one loop and this much is 1.5. There are 1.5 loops. So 1.5. There is one and a half loop. So is how many lambda? Lambda hana. Do the loop actor lambda high? Only 1.5 So there are 1.5 loops. So how many lambdas?
I'll make it easier for you. Ekhane dakhu. Ekhane hoche ekta node, anti node, node, anti node. So if you try to think about it, from let's observe from here. Node, anti node, node and anti node. That means a two ko space er length ko thodu hobe. A j two ko jodro ko the mouse gula chhe or I if I if I just try to annotate over here. Can I do I have rectangle? No, I don't have rectangle. So I I, I can go ahead just like that. No, no. How can I draw? I should draw, draw a rectangle. So, how much of lambda is in between this much space? Think about it. A two with the cot lambda. Three by four. Three by four, no? Three. Sir, point seven five. Point seven five, three four. Beautiful. So, for this setup that this person has, I'll close it. For this setup, this person has. Here we had three fourth of lambda. He's now gonna change this frequency uh, to a much higher value so that he can introduce bigger lambda. I have to try to understand. Whenever you will increase the f, your lambda will become small, right? Because the medium is fixed. The medium has a fixed speed. Uh, so the string medium has a fixed speed of the physical vibration. So whenever he'll increase the speed, the lambda will become small. So whenever lambda will become small, lambda by two will also become small, which means now he will be able to accommodate bigger number of loops over here increase number of loops or more loops in within the loop so he's now going to increase the frequency over here and we're going to see that we're going to have more than 0.75 lambda new value of lambda existing over here let's observe in one point but if i set it here for example i have what's called a stand so he now set it at a certain value such that the amplitude of this vibrating end the amplitude of this vibrating end over here this is now perfectly good for this specific location of the vibration this this source is not now exactly located at the antenna position but the amount of amplitude that you would require to exist at that position is perfectly matched let's say at the at the antenna position the amplitude of the string is let's say uh, two centimeter but this thing has a vibration of let's say uh, half centimeter so if you try to observe, let's say over here, the amplitude of the particle is two centimeter. If you slowly move down to this part, at certain point, you're gonna have a half centimeter amplitude point, right? Think yeah. about it. Here, the amplitude is biggest. All the particles are having a really high amount of amplitude, but as you slowly move to the right, your amplitude is becoming smaller. So there would certainly come a point where the amplitude would be half, half centimeter. He now fix up the frequency in a certain value so that this source is now located at that precise location where half a half centimeter amplitude is good enough to produce that vibration. So what is happening? So this is now vibrating and they will, they will have, a, have a node over here and we'll have an anti-node over here, node over here, anti-node over here, node over here. This entire thing is now gonna give us two complete loops starting from this point, not from this point. This is, a, this is a vibrating point, starting from this point all the way up to this point. So we're gonna have a complete wavelength or one full lambda for this string. So let's observe. Standing way. That is. Uh, starting from this point to this point is one loop. So this is node, anti node, node, anti node, and another node. So from this end all the way up to this end, we now have one lambda. Our vibrating part, when you get a vibrate, could the shader maximum amplitude with the half a. Normally, I'm not physically to oscillate Kori, to an oi pointa maximum amplitude hour kotha. Shit applicable chilo hoch amadeje a aga video ta jun, majita oje manually jeta the bodhi a string ke oscillate kote silo. But eight a jun applicable na because in this case the vibrating mechanism does not have enough amplitude of its own that matches with the antenna position. Vibrating mechanism is basic of oscillation and mechanism and uh, amplitude to check com. Now, if you wonder, Jeta can you mismatch or mismatch or cannot there is a variable that controls the tension of the string. If the, if the string of the tension of the string is very strong, then it then it can have a bit of mismatch. So what this person essentially did that he placed the source at a location. Money he did not actually physically place it. He chose the frequency in such a way. He chose the frequency of the oscillation in such a way so that the amplitude of this vibrating end or the source perfectly matches with the required value over here. Butchiki will say. 
Hello? Yes, sir. Thank you. I have what's called a standing wave. That is the wave that's that's sent down and reflects constructively interferes with the next wave that comes down right at this point. Now the waves that reflect, that come down and reflect, destructively interfere with the incoming waves right here. And that's called a node. I can touch it and it still is working. So the node is not moving. Here it's moving up and down and here it's moving up and down. And we'll see that in a second with the high speed camera. <laughs> That's the high speed camera view, which is nice. This is good stuff. Beautiful. So here we have what's called the second harmonic. It's the second possibility for a standing wave for a string that's held at both ends. Because notice this is a node, this is a node, and the middle's a node. So we have three nodes for this wave. Now like I said, second harmonic, well, what's the first one? The first one will be half this number, so 8.5. And there we go. This is the first harmonic. First harmonic means when you have only one loop. This is the smallest frequency at which the session wave could be produced. For both ends to be nodes, because now he is considering a node being present slightly in front of the source. The source cannot be at node, never. So he's considering this much of the length of the string, which is on the left of this initial node position to be not part of his discussion, which is perfectly all right. So node theke, node porjonto chho acta loop. So if we have one loop present for a setup like this, that is the biggest lambda you can accommodate. For example, in this case, this entire length of the string represents lambda by two. So the frequency over here would be very small. So the smallest frequency you could possibly achieve from a vibrating string is what we call the first harmonic, or sometimes it's also called the fundamental frequency. <laughs> and there we go. It's basically the scenario of a, of a jump. Now, I can find any of the other harm, all of the other harmonics are multiples of this number. So we just saw that two times this number was the second harmonic or the second possibility. Well, if I go three times this number, I should get the third harmonic. Well, three times 8.5, I guess that was that around 25.5. And there we go. This is the third harmonic. So you that's have, the third harmonic. You now have three loops or essentially we can say four nodes, one, two, three, and four nodes. So that's the third harmonic. How many wavelengths is this? Well, it's one and a half, one and one half wavelengths. And it's easier to see in high speed. So check out this shot with the high speed camera and uh, verify for yourself that it is one and one half wavelengths. It's a very vivid video. Uh, sometimes the source can be also placed at the exact anti node. In many of our uh, following upcoming examples, we'll see that. In this case, the source was not placed at the exact anti node because the amplitude of the source was quite small. But essentially, source will always be, I mean, at the node immediate age of the source. But source cannot be placed at the node because node is supposed to be the point where there is no vibration. If the source has no vibration, then what's the point of the vibration? Butchuk will say. Well, that's the idea that we call damping. Damping means the uh, uh, energy that is uh, taken out from the medium uh, or air resistance or any other uh, uh, resistive forces that reduces the energy content of the wave. Typically, yes. In this case, it is not very much visible because continuously this vibrating bar is introducing new energy to the string. So it is maintained at a fixed value. When it's like you are plucking. 
হ্যাঁ বলো বলো কিন্তু অ্যাম্পলিটিউড কমে যাওয়ার কথা মানে সোর্স এর যে অ্যাম্পলিটিউড হবে ওয়েভ যখন প্রপাগেট করবে ওর অ্যাম্পলিটিউড আস্তে আস্তে কমে যাওয়ার কথা না তাহলে সোর্স এর যে অ্যাম্পলিটিউড ওটা হচ্ছে অ্যান্টি নোডের অ্যাম্পলিটিউড বেশি কেন এটার কারণ হচ্ছে দা দা টেনশন ইন দা স্ট্রিং ইজ এ বিগ ফ্যাক্টর ফর হাউ মাচ অ্যাটেনশন ক্যান উই হ্যাভ দিস ইজ আ মনে করো এটা হচ্ছে একটা স্ট্রিং এই স্ট্রিং এ মনে করো আমাদের আমরা থার্ড হারমোনি ক্রিয়েট করব। এই থার্ড হারমোনি ক্রিয়েট করার জন্য আমাদের চারটা নোড লাগবে তিনটা অ্যান্টি নোড লাগবে তিনটা লুপ লাগবে মানে এটা যদি আমাদের স্ট্রিং এর একটা সার্টেন অরিয়েন্টেশন হয় আই ক্যান ড্র দ্য অপোজিট অরিয়েন্টেশন বাই লেটস এ ডটেড লাইন দে আর সাপোজ টু বি ইকুয়াল বাট ফর মাই ড্রয়িং দে আর নট ইকুয়াল বিকজ দে আর হ্যান্ড ড্রন ডিসরিগার্ড দ্যাট ফ্যাক্ট নাও আই ক্যান প্লেস এ সোর্স এক্স্যাক্টলি ওভার হিয়ার দ্যাট হ্যাজ আ পারফেক্ট অ্যাম্পলিটিউড অফ দিস মাচ আই ক্যান অ্যাচিভ দিস থিং or i can place a source exactly over here that has a perfect amplitude of this much i can also achieve this thing i can place a source exactly over here that has an amplitude of this much i can also achieve this thing bucho ke bolse so ei case uni jeta korche seta hocche he placed a small amplitude source because his mechanical device uh, electrical device cannot have a very large amount of amplitude he placed the source somewhere in on the left of the first anti node so that he can make the large uh, nodes over here so that's oh, why again, he, i mean this one is a bit on the left of that node but the source can never be located on the node because the nodes are supposed to be the stationary points of the stationary wave when this is happening because the energy is traveling forward and reflecting off that uh, 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 retort stand and coming backwards so that's why it is continuously having the energy available harmonic it's one and a half wave right well let's go to the sixth harmonic the sixth harmonic will just be double this frequency so we go up to 50 and there we go that's the sixth harmonic okay you now in this case now because i mean the fifth harmonic was 25.5 so the sixth harmonic is supposed to be 50 one the, this one was 25.5 do you see that for 25.5 this source was located a bit on the left of the a bit on the left of the node so the sixth harmonic is supposed to be double of that because this is the third harmonic sixth harmonic is just double so that would be uh six times the frequency which means this should be 51 he did not set the sixth harmonic at 51 he set it a bit less and double this there is something frequency. happening so we go up to 50 and there we go that's the sixth harmonic you should see that this point is now not located on the left of a node do you see that where does this source look is the source located it is located a bit on the right of the node and no node is supposed to be somewhere over here because you can see that this is not the end point of the loop is it there's a bit of a vibration over here do you see that if this person set it up at exactly 51 then we would be able to see the fifth, uh, fifth harmonic uh, the node showing up over here because he set it up a bit less now the node is supposed to be over here basically what is happening the entire loop shape is constricting but this is basically sixth harmonic because well you we can see it beautiful and it's six times the fundamental frequency which we measured in the beginning to be 8.5 hertz so Check this guy out. We have one, two, three <laughs> wavelengths. And in the next video, the explanation video, we'll go through the calculations and the derivations. This was a nice one. I'll definitely uh, recommend this one as well. You made a nice job. I'll share this link as well. I'll save it.
<coughs> what was the other video that we just discussed? Onto the plate at a node and exciting it at different antinodes. So, a put in the Bujay has a question of a basic idea. So, it can never further catch corbo, stringer juna on the acrobat behavior high. Wind, wind pipe at June, mother at two different behavior. Hoy, it to different behavior can hoy, she dominates the salap. Wind pipe are due to variation. I say we can have both and open wind pipe, we can have one and open wind pipe. So they can have a slightly different behavior from each other. That's the basic part that I want told you at the beginning of the class that the basic understanding is very simple, but the application for different idea at different places has you have to choose properly and carefully. For one, even though we say, Sir, Hello. Sir, Learn more about the physics behind Kaladni plates. This one. <laughs> the sand gap. No, sir. So, sir. J, point, J parts are red, red color. They are like, what can they act a point? Mr. Actors, one source, can I say? Source J can take it. J can take it. So, sir, J can take it. Source the. Energy that we part amplitude shop to the borrower. Well, it is supposed to be if your medium is supposed to have the amplitude directly fed from that source. For example, this was a metal object, so the amount of tension in the metal atoms is significantly higher compared to the tension of a string molecules, right? So, how much intermolecular at attachment or intermolecular attachment force? does exist there between the medium particles is a factor that where you need to place your source ideally yes for example in this case the, uh, the the source is to be placed at a point where there is supposed to be maximum amplitude this is supposed to happen for our upcoming examples we're going to see that but if the medium is loosely attached to each other then we can also preferably place the source somewhere on the other points as well for this example this will not work because the amount of vibration that a guitar uh, that a violin bow can introduce to a metal plate is actually not very high that's why the guitar uh, the bow had to be placed exactly at this position so that the maximum uh, vibration could be fed at the exact amplitude position uh, anti node position but for if the medium was loose for example if this was a let's say polystyrene ca cardboard then maybe we would still be able to achieve stationary wave pattern if the source was placed somewhere not exactly at the antenna position. Maybe that was possible. Bottom line to your question's answer is that typically the source should always be placed at one of the antenna positions, period. But if the internal intermolecular force is not very strong we can also achieve stationary wave by placing the source somewhere other than the exact antinode but that can never be an exact node somewhere other than the antinode but not at the, at the node that is also possible to achieve not ideal but possible Bucho. Yes, sir. Okay. 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 Okay.